Hey you guys, Limwood here, and today I'm gonna to be talking to you about how to moisturize your hair. So you see I have an abundance of products to pick from here, and we're gonna dive into that a bit more here in just a moment. Now before we get started, if you wanna follow along and learn more about how to care for your hair, please make sure to click the link down in the description box below or the pinned comment to be able to download my free six page hair care guide and be able to find out information like this and much more. It'll also sign you up for a free five day challenge where you are able to learn more about how to care for your hair and make it healthier, retain more length, make it stronger, so you can have a better hair that you love a lot more. <laughs> Let's dive right in. So I recently posted to my story here on YouTube and asked a lot of you what it was that you were struggling with with your hair quite a bit. And an overwhelming amount of people mentioned that they were struggling with moisture, brittleness, dryness, their hair breaking, all of that. So I wanted to make sure that we touch on moisturizing because I had a lot of people asking me questions that implied that they weren't quite sure what it was that moisture is or what it does for the hair. Now, just so you know, the number one cause of breakage is dryness, which means we've got to focus on moisturizing that hair from the inside out. So when I say dryness, I don't just mean like your hair is wet versus your hair is dry. I mean it's moisture balance is nice and high versus like hydrated versus dehydrated, if that makes sense. So I've got all different types of moisturizers here and even different styling products can actually be used as moisturizers. But I think you'll find that and common misconception I see, especially amongst the natural community, is that people tend to feel that oil is the same as moisturizer, and oil is not a moisturizer at all. So my first tip here is for anything to be a moisturizer, it has to actually be water-based. So if you're finding that water is nowhere in the ingredients, that's not actually a moisturizer at all. That's probably a sealant. Second thing that we want to discuss is since water has to be in there, what type of moisture do you need? So we discussed for hair typing, uh, things like that in my previous video. And I've also discussed a bit in terms of texture and things of that nature. And you can understand this a bit better if you download my hair guide. There are different types of moisturizers that you can use for different hair types. So you'll find for mildly moisture deficient types or for fine hair, liquid moisturizers tend to work best. This one here is by Giovanni's ultra moist two chic line and you can see we have used quite a bit of it in the house because my youngest daughter has very fine hair uh, so we go between this and spray creams quite a bit on her hair uh, so liquid moisturizers can work really well for that uh, as well as with straighter hair textures things like that because they don't weigh the hair down they don't tend to make it look greasy but they do still offer you a lightweight moisture so the hair's not breaking off things like that now of course there are other types here so we've got like the keratin mist here from Chi, even though this is a keratin mist, which is strengthening, it is still able to be used as a moisturizer because water is the first ingredient. Now, the key thing you wanna focus on here is do you need both moisture and protein to strengthen your hair or do you just need moisture? If you just need moisture, scale back from your things like this that are meant for protein and focus more so on things that are specifically for moisture. If you need both because your hair is chemically treated, it's bleached, it has hair color, stuff like this is excellent. But if you don't quite need all that protein, back away from the protein, focus more heavily on your moisturizing ingredients. Same thing goes for this one here by Kinra. Uh, also, then you have like for textures that are a little bit more thirsty, let's say that you have more curly but still fine hair that you don't want to weigh down, a spray cream like this one here from Ion is actually really excellent. And this is their uh, Miracle Leave-In, yes, their Miracle Leave-In Conditioner. I absolutely love this product here. You can get it from Sally's. It is a little pricey though, so I'll have some other uh, options and things down in there. And when I say a little pricey, I mean like not quite at salon price, but it's definitely at a mid-price level. But I will say this stuff does perform and it performs rather well. Uh, in terms of liquids, you can also use Infusium 23 if you're looking for something a bit more affordable. Um, so yeah, I'll have several different suggestions linked in the description box down below. Uh, trust me, this video is an in-depth one. So, uh, of course, if you are uh, noticing that you have more fine curly or fine coily hair, a spray cream leave-in is excellent for increasing moisture balance. Now from there, we can move into our light cream moisturizers. Uh, this is like something that would typically be used as a spray cream leave-in, but in this instance, it's something where you pump it into the hand. So the consistency is just like what's in this bottle, but it's in the hand, so you're applying more product. The benefit to putting it in a spray is that it makes it easier to disperse throughout the hair, so you get the benefit of it being a cream, but 
it's not quite as heavy on the hair. Whereas this one, because you're pumping it in your hand, you're gonna have a tendency to put more of a concentrated amount in the hair. So same performance, but the application method makes all the difference in the terms of the type of moisture that you get. Now, if you're needing a bit more moisture and seal in the hair, you can use something that's for smoothing like this here, where its first ingredient is still going to be a water for moisture, but it has a bit more oils and things like that in there also to help seal that moisture in a bit more and help fight frizz. By the way, if your hair is frizzing, there's a good chance that it's thirsty. From there, if you have more of a thirsty fabric of hair, this is where your thick cream, things like that are gonna be beneficial, like this one here. Uh, the Curl and Styling Milk, or even this one here from Cantu. This one works for some hair textures, not for all, so, you know, be careful with Cantu. It's, it's a hit or miss. Um, and you can even get moisture from certain styling creams, like this one here, and quite a few from, like, Shea, Shea Moisture. There's several different brands that uh, have styling creams that are actually moisturizing. That being said, once you've put that moisture in there, an oil or a butter is to seal that moisture in the hair, not to moisturize the hair. So I hope that this has helped out with understanding moisture balance a bit more. If you have additional questions, let me know in the comment box down below. And don't forget to check for that free guide and sign up for the mailing list on there as well. Until next time, you guys, take care, God bless, and stay glam. You know I love you, boo. Bye.